Hello, and thank you for tuning in. I do want to set this scene up a little bit before I get into it. Uh, this uh, gentleman that we see on the screen is, his name is Am Amru Adib. I think I'm saying it right. Or, uh, uh, yeah, Amru Adib. He is a well-known Egyptian journalist, talk show host. He's like a, a talking head. He does entertainment pieces. He also does uh, daily news and I love him, love him, love him for learners. Because as you can see, perhaps he is, he emotes with every single broadcast. He is a 10 always. He's just uh, very emphatic. He uses a lot of gestures. But one thing I love for learners is that he enunciates every single word. So in the early days before I can understand anything, I would just watch his mouth. He's fun to watch on mute because he is doing so much. And then if you take him off of mute and you hear his voice, you can almost see where the sounds are coming from. And that's good because you want to see how his mouth is moving and that can help you better pronounce the word. So I will press play, but some nice things to look at are just take him all in and then look at his mouth. He will stop and pause while he's talking. He'll look at the camera and he just, he's just on. So he, we just have a good time with him. تستنى ان هم يغنوا تستنى ان هم يغنوا من المطربين دول مطربه عظيمه وكان ليا الحظ ان انا يعني اسمعها واتابعها من زمان قوي لغايه دلوقتي عندما تغني تحس انه في شيء مختلف حصل في ناس بتغني اغاني بالكيلو كده وخلاص انما هذه المطربة وطبعا مش أي حد يتقال عليه مطرب لأنه ممكن ناس كتير يتقال عليهم مغني إنما هي مطربة أتحدث عن أمال ماهر Okay, I will stop there That was intense, right? This is, this is him every day, all day Look at his mouth I mean, he pauses, he stops so I'm gonna go back and play it again. This clip is along the long side, but I, I think it's good. And I will kind of point to things that we're gonna talk about later. It's about 55 seconds. Let's watch it again. And once again, just listen, not necessarily for comprehension, but listen for the sounds, watch his neck. When he pauses, you're gonna hear him say, Yerani. look at where it's coming. It's coming from back here. It's not just a G sound. It's a R, R it's the R is what it is. شوية فن بقى في مطربين يغنوا زي ما يغنوا وفي مطربين, مطربين تستنى ان هم يغنوا تستنى ان هم يغنوا من المطربين دول مطربة عظيمة وكان ليا الحظ ان انا يعني اسمعها واتابعها من زمان قوي لغاية دلوقتي عندما تغني تحس انه في شيء مختلف حصل في ناس بتغني اغاني بالكيلو كده وخلاص انما هذه المطربة وطبعا مش اي حد يتقال عليه مطرب انه ممكن ناس كتير يتقال عليهم مغني انما هي مطربة اتحدث عن امال ماهر امال okay. So with this one, it's a little bit different because I can honestly say I don't understand every word he's saying. I understand the overall point. And the overall point is that he's introducing a singer that he basically really likes. And she seems to be very famous. Um, her, what is her name? Her name is Am Amel Maher. And she is singing the theme song for this new show that has just come out. Anyway, he's doing like a build up to, to talk about uh, her song. And he is doing a build up in the sense that he's talking about there are people who sing and they're just singers. But then there's people who are performers who are not just singers. And he's basically saying this woman is more than a singer. So what I want to do with this piece is just point out some words. Um, I can't I can't get all the phrases yet. Maybe maybe I'll later on I will. 
But I want to point out some words that are very Egyptian, and the way he says them is Egyptian, um, as well as some of the words themselves, like only Egyptians say it. So I'll start with like the second or third word that he says. It's ba. So let's hear it. Don't know the first two. Shway I don't know what that means. But ba. Ba is very Egyptian and I can't quite say it right, but you'll hear what's called a glottal stop. And the word ba, it really actually means nothing. I've asked several uh, Egyptians and it is more of, um, it's a more of form of speech that they use for emphasis. For example, maybe in colloquial English, you might say, look here. In that sentence, what does here mean? Nothing, you could just say, look. But you might say, look here. And it's just to really uh, emphasize the point that you're about to make. So I often hear Egyptians say, busiba, which is bus is like look. The but is like here. Busiba. And if you were to spell it, it, it would be B A with an apostrophe. So the apostrophe represents that glottal stop because it's not just but, it's but. So it's got that, that stop. Um, one way to illustrate what the glottal stop feels like is when you say the word uh oh, uh oh, the, the space in between uh and oh, like uh oh, that is a glottal stop. So it takes a lot of practice. I still don't have it right, but that word uh oh helps me to understand what but, what it sounds like. So busy but. So now when he says that, I know he's about to say something important but of course he says everything the same with the same intensity but let's see what he says next okay this phrase actually can get mutribin mutribin is from the word mutrib so mutrib is basically a singer uh actually i should probably get the exact definition but um mut Yes, it, it means singer, but it's it's a little bit more than a singer. It's it's a seasoned, it's a really good performer. And so he's saying mutribin, so that's the plural. Uh yeah, let me go back to the word after mutribin. So mutribin, uh mutrib is the singular, mutribin singers. I still can't say it. Uh, they sing. The, the root is is the word for sing. So is they sing. I think he said. So he, he's making a, 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 a commentary. They're singers, they sing like all the rest. And zay is a very Egyptian word for like. I want to say in modern standard Arabic, it's mythal. In Egyptian, is zay. You hear them say it all the time. Zay, zay. I love that word. Zay, zay, zay. So they're singers like all the rest. Yehannu, zay, yehannu. He pauses. The look. So, there are those who we wait to hear them sing. I think. Tistanu, very Egyptian. It means wait. And, or it's a, a verb form. It's a form of the verb wait. So, there are singers that are basically ordinary, and then there are singers who we wait for them to sing. To, we, 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 we look forward to them singing. Let's play that one more time. So, ghanu is just the word I will. Oops, sorry. It's just a word that I will just practice until the end of my life because it's such a hard sound for me to make. But uh, it's an important word. It's an important letter. The ghain. It's like a GH sound. Battery's low. Very important word. Let's hear what else he says. Tastanna. 
Okay, I want to point out that word, mutreba. So mutreba is a singer, but it's a female singer, and we know from the ending. Kind of like uh, Spanish and some of the other Romance languages have feminine and masculine. Arabic and Egyptian Arabic are the same. So there's mutreb and mutreba. So now we're gonna we know that he's gonna talk about a female singer because he said mutreba. Uh, azima. So notice mutreba azima. They have to match azima. It can be azim or azima, but it's it's modifying the noun mutreba. So we know that the the adjective has to have the same female ending. Mutreba azima. So now we know he's going to talk about this. He's about to introduce a famous female singer. See. Oh, I didn't mention. So azima means awesome or amazing. Mutreba azima. And once again, it's not just the azima. It's aha. It's coming from back here. You can kind of see azima. Mutreba azima. And I like to kind of rock with it. Mutreba azima. So I'll focus on when he says min zaman awi. Min zaman. Min zaman is an expression. It means from long ago. Min zaman. Min zaman. Great expression. Min zaman awi. Later on, I want to devote a whole scene to awi. Awi is very Egyptian. It means uh, very. It's a way to emphasize. Something is azima, awi. It's, it's what they add at the end of something. And it comes from kuwa, which is the modern standard Arabic. It means strong. But they add it to, uh, to kind of emphasize the point. Um, yeah. عندما تغني تحس إنه في شيء مختلف حصل. So, I, um, we're going to take a commercial break because I want to get more into this. <laughs> 